let's try this question. This is from June of five. So we have been given a back to back stem and leaf diagram. Okay. And <clears throat> it says, um, um, this is going to show the cholesterol uh, count for group of um, 45 people who exercise and 63 who do not exercise. So you, you must know that there are 45 people here who exercise and there are 63 people who do not exercise. So here is the 63, okay? So the sum of all this is 63 and this sum is going to be 45. It says, uh, this is this. Now the first question is give one useful feature of a stem and leaf diagram. So what do you think that what is the useful useful feature of a stem and leaf diagram? Yes? You may? Mm -hmm. I have told you that uh, this is normally compared with a histogram or a bar chart, this uh, stem and leaf diagram, even with the cumulative frequency curve. Uh, the best advantage or the most useful feature of this stem and leaf diagram is, is that you have the actual data in front of you. Nothing is hidden, okay? And you can still find the lower quartile, upper quartile, and the median, and you can see that what is the mode over here in which group you have the highest number of people, okay? Where the data is more concentrated, what is the actual range of this data? So uh, the most useful feature is that the actual data is there, it's not hidden, okay? Next, it says find the median and the quartiles for the, for the cholesterol count for the group who do not exercise, okay? So now we have these 63 people. So let's find 63 plus one over two, that is going to be 32. So the 32nd value is going to be the median, first of all, okay? So this is, we can count from here, four plus six is 10, plus 13 is 23, 23 plus 14 is 37. So that means 32 is going to be over here. So 23 up to here, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. This is the median here. So according to the key, this is going to be 6.5. That is the cholesterol count for the people who do not exercise. Okay, so this was the 32nd value. So that means um, if you want to divide this into two groups, there are 63 observations, okay, 63. So this 63 can be divided into two groups like this. Uh, this is going to be the 32nd value over here, okay? So there are 31 values here in the beginning and there are 31 values at the end. So the median of the first 31 observations, so again, uh, this 31 plus one over two is going to be 16. So 16th observation is going to be your lower quartile. So what is the 16th observation? This is four plus six, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. This is the lower quartile, okay? So the lower quartile is 5.4. And then your upper quartile is going to be uh, for the last 31. So again, 31 plus one over two is going to give you 16. So 32 plus 16 is 48. So we have to go at the 48th observation for the upper quartile. This is uh, 10, 23, and 37 plus nine is 46, 47, and this is 48. So this 8.3 is the upper quartile. Do you have any questions, any queries, any worries, any concerns? Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, we have been given the, um, all these like lower quartile, upper quartile and median for the people who exercise. And then in the third part, it says, we have to draw two box and risk plots. Uh, on the same graph paper, okay? So I'm just going to slide this a bit up so that I can have some space here for this box and whisker plot. Now let's, let's take a scale here. We have um, um, 
the values from 3 to 11 okay the, the values are going from 3 to 11 so i can start this from like you know if this is one here this is two this is three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay and uh, now let's start drawing it um, the, i'll be drawing first of all for the people who exercise okay this is starting from 3.1 let me start from here 3.1 and the median is, so the lower quartile is 4.25. 4.25 would be here, okay? And the upper quartile is 6.6. .6. This should be here. And the maximum value is 9.4. This is like this. So the end, the whiskers should end like this, okay? And then I have to draw the box. The box start from the lower quartile, which is 4.25. I can draw the box like this. And this is going to go up to this, okay? And then the median is at 5.3. So here is 5.3. Now this is for the one who do who exercise, okay? Let's draw for the people who do not exercise. It is also going to start from 3.1. I'll be drawing it here. Maybe here. Okay. This is 3.1. Okay. And this line goes up to the lower quartile was 5.4. Okay. 5.4. It is here. Okay. And then the upper quartile is at 6, uh, 8.3. Yes. This is. 8.3 should be here. And it has to go up to, uh, remember, Bachu, this has to be drawn on a graph paper. 10.6 is the last value. 10.6, here it is 10.6, align here. Everything should be same here, okay? So on a graph paper, you can take the scale very easily. And now the box has to start from here. Okay. And it has to end here. The median is at a 6.5. 6, this is 6.5. Okay, so this finishes here. This is for uh, the people who do not exercise. I'm writing E dash. And this is for the people who exercise, okay? You see that there is a greater span of this, uh, the people who are not exercising. There is, this is going up to a very higher value. And the people who are exercising, there is a concentrated, like, you know, the, the interquartile range is much low, lower than the interquartile range of the people who are not exercising. So that is how you had to complete this question.